What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So Global got a new data download a few hours ago and in today's video as always we're gonna check out exactly what's going on together. So we're on DBZ space right now and as you can see all of the upcoming units for the Golden Week celebration or Dual Dokkan Fest have been scheduled. We have the Fizz GT Goku here, this is the SSR, there's the TUR, and then we have the Int Vegeta SSR TUR. And we have the Dokkan Awakening finally for STR Meta Rildo, and uh, he's really good, he's really good. And then from there we have the two side units, a new uh, GT Trunks who Dokkan Awakens into Trunks and Goten, and then a GT Goten that Dokkan Awakens into uh, GT Go Bros or Gohan and Goten. And that is pretty much it. Now there are a few things the JP side um, is getting that uh, Global isn't this time around. Specifically a few free to play Dokkan Awakenings, or rather uh, Extreme Z Awakenings for the uh, April Fool's Pan and Grandpa Gohan. Um, Actually, let me just pop over to the other page here. Uh, yeah, so there's the Grandpa Gohan and Pan. There's Extreme Z Awakening for the Kid Saiyan Man. And also EZAs for the Int Giru and uh, B Pan, LRB Pan. So this is honestly a little bit disappointing. I'm not going to lie because I was kind of hoping that because we were both getting the Dual Dokkan Fest and kind of like this full celebration that like Global would also get the free to play Extreme Z Awakenings. But... We're not. It is what it is. So uh, yeah, we'll have to wait for those later on in the future. But uh, yeah, for now we're getting the Dual Dokkan Fest at the very least. So I guess I can't be too greedy. Can't ask for too much. And in terms of the release date, or release time rather, it's actually much earlier than uh, I think most people would have expected. It's dropping tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, okay, according to DBZ Space at least. Okay, this could change, you know, sometimes they are a little bit off, but for the most part, you know, they're pretty accurate. So according to DBZ Space right now, it's 8 p.m. Eastern time uh, tonight, April 27th, or uh, for people, you know, that are in the Pacific time zone, it's gonna be 5 p.m. So that's roughly uh, nine hours away. I mean, by the time I can release this video, it's probably gonna be even you know, shorter than that. If you guys are wondering why my face is so bright right now, it's because I got the window open and there's sun coming through, so don't worry about that. But uh, yeah, these guys are dropping soon. I wasn't exactly the most prepared for this, but it's okay. Um, we'll be ready. You know, by the time that the banners are out, I will be live on the channel, so make sure you guys tune into the stream. And uh, I may or may not have a special guest on the channel. Um, I can't make any promises, but there, there's a chance that I might not be alone, so maybe look forward to that too. But uh, yeah guys, these guys are coming, and real quick, we're going to go through the assets for this data download, as we always do. Big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting these. And let's scroll down to the bottom here. Not anything too crazy. Essentially, we have some story assets for the new GT Vegeta. And when he says story assets, I think he means assets for the token events for each unit. So we got the Vegeta, we got the Goku, and then we have the new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. Um, and you know, just a regular map for Infinite Dragon Ball History. It's the Black Star Saga. And then we have the new Extreme Super Battle Road stages, along with the Extreme Z Awakening Medal for the Int LR Goku. And from there, we have the new stage for Vegeta's um, Dokkan event, as well as his Dokkan Awakening Medal. We have the new Goku Dokkan event, and also Dokkan Awakening Medals too. And the new categories, the labels for them, GT Bosses is one of them, and the other one is GT Heroes. So there you go. And we also have the assets for the TUR Metal Rildo, the uh, Goten and Gohan and Trunks. Oh, this is the Goten and Gohan. And then we have the Trunks and Goten. And finally, we have the Int Vegeta assets. And also the uh, Fizz Goku 
assets. And that pretty much does it for this uh, data download, a quick overview. It's uh, Dokkan Battle Global data download for April 27th, 2021, Fizz, Super Saiyan Goku, in Super Saiyan Vegeta, AGL GT Trunks and GT Goten, Tech GT Gohan and GT Goten, Awakening for, M for STR Metal Rildo, Extreme Super Battle Road Stages 11 to 20, and New Infinite Dragon Ball History Stage, Dragon Ball GT, Black Star Dragon Ball Saga. And uh, yeah guys, if you came here just for a quick breakdown to see like what we got through that data download, then you got all the information you need. But if you want to stick around as we take a look at the new categories, GT Bosses and GT Heroes, then definitely keep watching. So we're going to pop over to the Dokkan Wiki once again. And this is the new Goku who leads GT Heroes and also Goku's family. So let's uh, open that up real quick. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, here we go. So it says consists of major protagonists from Dragon Ball GT, pretty self-explanatory. We got the two main leaders, the Vegeta and Goku. And then these two guys are sub-leaders, they're 120% I believe. And uh, you know, nothing, no real surprises, honestly, right? We got Super Saiyan 4 Goku, we got the GT Trio Oob, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, B-Pan, uh, more Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, Gogeta. Uh, Pans, of course, you got Giru, we got more Oob, um, and Pan, <laughs> and uh, that is about what I expected. So a fairly, I would say, a little bit of a limited category. You know, it's not really too big, but there are enough choices here to make a decent team for sure. And um, yeah, for the movie, or not movie bosses, the GT bosses side, we're going to have to open up Let's see, uh, we're gonna have to open up the Rildo here. And he is not a leader for the category, but he is a support for the category. So, uh, GT Bosses does not have a proper leader yet, which leads a lot of people to believe that we are gonna be getting, you know, a new uh, GT villain who leads the category very soon, maybe for uh, the next part. Actually, that goes into Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day, so I'm not sure about that, but sometime in the near future, we should be getting a, you know, proper Dokkan Fest or LR that leads GT bosses. Some people are saying Baby, some people are saying Super 17. Uh, we have a couple choices, so we'll have to see, but uh, this is the category right now. We got the LR Baby, we got 17s, we got Babies, we got the, sh um, the Shadow Dragons, and Cell, Frieza... That's it. <laughs> that is literally the category. It's very, very limited. Like GT bosses or, or heroes rather is kind of limited. This one is super limited. Like there is, there are barely any units in this category. So hopefully in the future it will get expanded. Probably not super fast, but uh, you know, as time goes on, we will have more choices. But right now there isn't much to uh, to go to go with in this category, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. That is going to be the video. Um, you know what? I already went through this, but in case you guys missed the video from yesterday, I'm going to quickly talk about like what the Goku and Vegeta do. So if you guys already know what they do, then you can stop watching. If you want to st stick around to uh, go through their details, then, then keep watching. Okay, so leader skill. GC Heroes category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170%. Or Goku's Family category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%. Um, super attack greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn, it causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attack plus 180%, defense plus 120%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, plus an additional attack plus 20% when performing a super attack per key sphere obtained plus an additional defense plus 50% per GT Heroes category ally, self-excluded, attacking on the same turn, and an active skill massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy, and the condition is you have to perform four or more super attacks in battle once only. Really rough condition. Okay, I, I gotta be honest, it's, it's a really rough condition. Um, even, even compared to like the Int Broly, Broly at least could launch up to like Broly has the potential to launch up to like four supers in a turn, right? This guy, the most he can do is two supers, and that's not going to be super often either, unless you give him like a really good skill orbs as well on top of the hidden potential system. 
So, yeah, you're not going to see this a lot. It, it, it's one of the most beautiful animations in the game, along with the Vegetas, but you're just not going to see it a lot, guys, because uh, the condition sucks. Let's be honest, the condition's really bad. Uh, Link's Golden Warrior Super Saiyan, the Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, GT, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle. Categories are Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, Kamehameha, Giant 8 Power, uh, Turtle School, and GT Heroes. And uh, real quick math for you here, his additional 20% attack per key sphere obtained is calculated separately, resulting in a boost of 56% attack per key sphere obtained. So needless to say, this kid hits really, really hard. Like he hits extremely hard and um, he gets some good defense too. He uh, basically doesn't need the active skill to be a great unit. That That's what I'll say, like even though his active skill you know, it's hard to get. It doesn't matter too much because without it, he's already a freaking monster. You know what I mean? So um, I think he's still a very, very good unit. Definitely a top tier TUR. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to summon for him. Now moving on to the Vegeta. Uh, leader skill is GT Heroes, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or Vegeta's family category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 150%. Super attack greatly raises attack, raises defense for one turn, it causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And then passive is attack plus 180%, defense plus 120%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 10% when performing a super attack per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack plus 50% per GT heroes category ally, self excluded, attacking in the same turn. And uh, his active skill is the same thing, massively raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and you have to perform four or more super attacks in battle before using it, so uh, don't you really depend on it too much. And then uh, Link skills, Golden Warrior, Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, GT, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Categories, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans, Worthy Rivals, Giant Form, oh, sorry, Giant 8 Power, Prodigious Warriors, and GT Heroes. And his additional attack and defense plus 10% per key sphere obtained is calculated separately, resulting in a boost of 38% attack and 22% defense per key sphere obtained when all conditions are met. So, uh, yeah, they're both very good. They're just uh, slightly different, but still amazing units. Uh, both of them, I would say. I would say the Goku is probably slightly better. Slightly better. But, uh. Yeah, they're both great units, so I can't... Like, I, I want both of them, basically. <laughs> and uh, as I said, guys, they're dropping very soon. Even though right now I don't have, like, a you know, thumbnail ready or anything, I will make sure I have everything ready by the time the banner comes out. So uh, definitely keep an eye out for that stream um, in a couple hours, in, like, eight and a half hours from now, I guess. I'm guessing that's how long it's going to take me to upload this video. So about eight and a half hours from now, if you're watching this video as soon as it drops, We'll be live to do some summons. I'll showcase the GT Heroes team as well. Um, you know, probably tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are excited for the Dual Dokkan Fest. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. There's no tickets. There's no tickets on Global. It's because it's a joint celebration and JP players would get way too upset if uh, Global players had tickets and they didn't. Um, I think the solution would have been just to give everybody tickets, you know what I mean? Just like give both sides tickets for summoning, but nah, they're going the, the worldwide celebration, download celebration route, and just giving nobody tickets for summons. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. But uh, guys, thank you for watching. That is today's video. As always, if you liked the, vi if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.